Tileook is a design tool for interiors that you can use with SketchUp to quickly design nice detailed tile layouts for flooring, coverings, for bathrooms, kitchens or any other interior design. But why is Tileook useful for SketchUp users? Uh, first of all, you can import your rooms directly from SketchUp file into uh, Tileook. You can access uh, the full library that contains 400 uh, top international brands uh, and up to 200,000 uh, tiles, uh, real products from the market. Uh, so you can browse any brand uh, from the library and view uh, top quality textures that you can use in any of your designs. Uh, you can use these tiles to create uh, any kind of uh, layout and room as you can see here and also uh, as you can see here you can create photorealistic renders of your projects uh, not only uh, simple photographs like you can see here but also in a nice uh, 360 view that you can view directly from your browser and also using any uh, VR headset. When you are working with Tilux Design Tool, uh, you can complete the decoration of a room by accessing directly to the 3D warehouse and downloading any uh, 3D model to complete your design. Uh, when your design is finished, you can also view the full list of prices and quantities for the products that you've been using. And then you can also export uh, your project back into a SketchUp file uh, so that you can uh, reinsert it in your SketchUp model. Okay, so if you have a SketchUp model of a building, for example, like this, all you need to do is uh, to isolate any of these uh, spaces before importing in Tilelock. Okay, so this is the uh, isolated space uh, to make it easier to import in Tilelock. All we need to make sure of is that the white faces uh, in this model are facing inside of the room, uh, while the grey faces are uh, facing outwards, and that the walls have uh, no thickness. Uh, at the end of our work, we will be able to re-import this space, uh, complete with detailed tiling and furniture, into our uh, original SketchUp design. Okay, so this is Tilux Design Tool. Here we go on the menu file and then choose Import 3D Room. Uh, from here, we just need to select our SKP uh, file. So I'm going to go on uh, the desktop and choose this SketchUp file here. And then uh, I simply need to follow uh, the step-by-step -step process to import uh, this uh, geometry into Tilux. Okay, so this is uh, here the room that we've just imported. As you can see here uh, above in the program, uh, we have different tabs to uh, subdivide the surfaces, uh, paint the room, place uh, objects as, uh, such as furniture and other models in the room, lay out uh, tiles, and then on to render and uh, prices and quantities. Let's see the tab uh, layout tiles. Uh, from here we can uh, click on add tile to open uh, the library which as you can see contains over 200,000 uh, products. I can use the search here on the left to quickly search uh, for a brand, okay, for example uh, this one, and then uh, also browse uh, the list of uh, collections for this brand and perform a search. Okay, and then uh, I can simply uh, select and download uh, any of the products that I see here. Okay, uh, so the product is now here. I simply need to select which surface in my room I want to start tiling and then drag and drop uh, the tile onto that surface. As you can see, uh, the textures are optimized uh, to use for InDesign. Uh, many of the tiles here include uh, multiple textures and they are automatically uh, randomized in the layout to give a more realistic effect. Uh, while laying out uh, these uh, tiles on a surface, I can uh, control the starting point of my layout, uh, change it somewhere else. Also, I can use uh, these uh, grips here to rotate as I prefer. Okay. And also, uh, I can use these red dots with some options, for example, if I want to rotate uh, by 45 degrees, and so on. Okay, now I'm going to uh, select this wall and place this other tile here. Uh, you can see that I can also manage a number of rows and also a number of columns. Okay, 
and then apply. And then, for example, place uh, a new row of tiles here above. So it's very uh, straightforward and easy to use. If I need to uh, be more precise, so I'm just going to remove these tiles from here, I can use uh, this tab here, subdivide surfaces, to create uh, an area on this wall with some specific sizes. So very uh, quickly here, okay, 150 by, uh, for example, 210. And then uh, when moving back to layout tiles, I can select uh, this area here and place uh, tiles just inside of this area very uh, quickly. Tileock lets you easily also design any uh, tile layout or pattern. Uh, just need to move to this tab here, layout, and uh, select one of the options. For example, I'm going to create a striped pattern in this case. Okay, so different rows with different uh, offsets. Okay. okay, and then I simply need to uh, drag and drop this uh, pattern on to uh, any of the surfaces in my uh, design. Okay, so very briefly, uh, we're going to move to uh, the Place Objects tab. Here we can add uh, some very detailed 3D models from the Tileock library, uh, which contains over 24,000 uh, authentic products from real brands. Again, here we can search uh, by filtering various brands and various collections, or uh, we can search also by product category. Okay, for example, showers, uh, cabinets, and so on. Also, as we said earlier, Tileock is directly connected to the 3D Warehouse, so we can uh, load 3D models directly from the 3D Warehouse, uh, search for anything uh, that we need, and then simply click on Download uh, to download any model into our design. A uh, third option is also to import uh, 3D models from file. Okay, so once we've downloaded some models, we simply need to drag and drop a model into our design. We have these arrows that we can use uh, to move uh, this model in the various directions. Also, uh, we have some very useful grips that we can find in uh, any corner or midpoint of any surface and other models in our room. For example, I can click here to attach this model directly to this point. And uh, while I'm dragging, I can change uh, grip to this one here on top. And uh, I can see directly uh, the distance from this point uh, from the ground, which is now at 195 centimeters, for example. So this is very uh, quick and easy uh, to use to place uh, my models inside of the room. Another quick example, so I've placed, I'm placing this uh, shower box now. I'm going to select uh, this grip here and then attach it to this uh, snap point in the room. Once we finish our work, we can move on uh, to the render tab to produce one or more renders of our room. Uh, all the materials and models that we've been using are already optimized for interiors. So in most cases, uh, without having to change any of the material or light settings, uh, we simply uh, click on render to uh, render the project. From here, we can uh, set some things like the sun intensity, uh, so the light that comes from uh, any windows or openings in our room. Uh, we can set the denoise level. Uh, from here, we can add more cameras to our project so we can render uh, different scenes of the room. Uh, for now, I'm just going to click on apply to see how the uh, render works. Okay, and you see this uh, very simple window where we can see uh, the time that is left for our render, the percentage. Uh, the speed, of course, depends on uh, the CPU power of my computer, but also on uh, how big is my project and how complex is the project. Um, we can set uh, some settings for cameras uh, that you can see here. So from here, you can choose uh, the type of resolution. Uh, you can choose if you want to do a perspective or a panorama or even a stereographic panorama. And this is to produce uh, these 360 renders that we were seeing uh, before that you can view also uh, from your mobile phone using uh, any uh, VR, VR headset. Okay, and then uh, in the last part, in the last tab, uh, prices and quantities, 
uh, we can see what Tileloc has been calculating uh, while we, we've been working in our design. Uh, so we can see all the tiles that we've been using. Uh, for each tile we can view the details, the code, description, the name of the brand, the name of the series. Uh, we can see here the total quantity that has been calculated. Uh, but we can go even into detail to see the number of boxes, uh, the number uh, and spare amount, uh, cut tiles or entire tiles and so on. Uh, we can easily export uh, this list, including the list of objects as well, into an Excel uh, file and even uh, export to a PDF. And you can see here this example PDF. Uh, so this is a nice document uh, that we can show to our customer. If we need to reinsert this room into our bigger SketchUp project, uh, then we can simply export uh, this uh, project back to a SketchUp file uh, by clicking on uh, this SKP icon here on top. So uh, by clicking here, we just uh, choose a name. So I'm going to write bathroom uh, decorated, for example, and then uh, choose uh, which SketchUp format we prefer and then click on save. Okay, so this is the exported file in SketchUp. It has a particular setting on uh, the external material that is applied uh, to the external part of the walls uh, so that you can uh, see uh, within the room from the outside. Uh, you can simply edit the material settings and change the opacity if you want to change uh, this particular setting of the project. If uh, we look at the structure of this uh, model, uh, you can see that all the objects have been uh, maintained into uh, SketchUp groups. Also, if you look at the layers, uh, you can see there's a layer to separate the objects from uh, the surfaces in this uh, design. Okay, so that's all for this introduction of Tileloc. For more details, you can go on uh, tileloc.com and register an account for free. There is a pro version that costs 23 euro per month uh, and uh, 230 euro per year. Uh, but if you register, uh, you can start your free trial for 30 days. Uh, also, uh, you can visit our uh, YouTube channel, uh, which I will also link at the end of this video, uh, for other getting started videos and tutorials about Tyloc.